A walk honoring millions of Americans who battle arthritis. It's back in person after two years. It happens tomorrow at Connor Prairie. Lake and McGee got a chance to speak with a couple taking part of it. What's the goal of the walk this year, Lakin? So the goal is $59,000, and the Arthritis Foundation is very close to meeting that goal, but it's not even until tomorrow. That's when the event is. Now, I did have the pleasure of talking with these two wonderful ladies. Both of them plan on walking in this event. Angela Harrison. She's a volunteer with the Arthritis Foundation. She's also the 2022 Walk to Cure Arthritis honoree. She's had it for 51 years and was diagnosed at three years old. She says it can be challenging because it affects all of her joints. Did you have symptoms or what, how did your parents feel? I did. Um, basically, I guess all of a sudden I started saying I didn't want to walk. And I would say that I was having trouble picking something up with my hands. And that was totally you know, unusual because I was active. Um, and so luckily I was fortunate that my pediatrician down in Columbus, Indiana, picked up on what it was and sent me to Riley Children's Hospital and I was diagnosed in the fall of 1971. And this is Brielle. She's 13 years old and has psoriatic juvenile arth arthritis. She was diagnosed at five years old. Arthritis runs in her family and get this, even her dog has arthritis. She tells me this makes it easier for her to face some of the challenges that she has. Do you know what the symptoms were? Um, I couldn't like move my neck very well or my wrist and my whole left side of my body was swollen. Brielle was also, uh, oh, Brielle will also be walking in the cure to arthritis. She's done that the past couple of years. Now the event is happening tomorrow, Friday the 13th at Connor Prairie. This is a free event, but organizers ask that you donate to help them meet their goal. And they are accepting funds now through the end of May. And when we think about arthritis, automatically my mind goes to someone that's older. But I did learn while talking with these fantastic ladies that two thirds of Americans with arthritis are younger than 65 years old. I'm Lake and McGee for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.